So for number three, um, we want to calculate the sum of this series. Um, and this is the partial sum. And so the idea here is that the series is the sum of a sequence from one to infinity. And now we don't know what the sequence is, but we do know that the sum from one um, to n, no matter what n is, is given by s of n is 2 minus 3 times 0 0.8 to the power of n. So it means that if you want to find the sum from 1 to 10, you just plug in 10 for n, and that's going to give you the value, right? And so we want to sum up from 1 all the way out to infinity. And so what this means is that we're taking the limit as n approaches infinity of our um, partial sum. We're saying, hey, sum this from 1 to infinity. So when we take this limit, what are we going to get? Well, we're going to get the limit of 2 is just 2, right, minus 3 times, what is this limit here? 0 0.8 to the power of infinity. How does this behave? Well, let's think about it. Um, when we go 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.8, the absolute value, is less than 1, right? So it means that whenever we multiply it, so if we go 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.8, we're going to be decreasing um, the size. It's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And so if I take this 0 0.8 and I multiply it by itself an infinite number of times, so 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 and so on and so forth, this whole thing is going to tend to 0, right? So, and this comes from this idea that whenever we have a ratio to the power of n and we take the limit as n goes to infinity, um, if, if the absolute value of r is less than 1, then the limit as n approaches infinity of r n is 0. So the idea is if r is less than 1, then when you raise it to infinity, this goes to 0. And so um, we can see here then that this limit is going to be equal to, the limit of 2 is 2, minus 3 times this limit, 0 0.8 to the power of infinity, is going to be 0. And so this result is going to be 2 minus 0, so 2. And so um, it's basically saying that, hey, if we sum up this, this sequence, right, the sum of a sequence is a series, if we take that sum from 1 to infinity, we're going to get a total of 2.